let us begin the topic on calculus of variations before entering into the details of the topic let us consider some simple problems where this method of calculus of variations are applied the most the first problem is the pro problem of finding the curve of shortest length <coughs> joining two points p and q lying on a plane as we all know it is the straight line joining the points p and q the next problem is to find the curve that generates the surface having the smallest area of revolution while revolving about the x axis and the third problem is the brachistochron problem the term brachistochron is derived from two greek words brachistos and chronos brachistos which means shortest and chronos which means time so it is the problem of quickest descent here we consider the problem of a bead sliding down from a point p to the point q and we have to find the curve through which this bead reaches p, a q from p this problem was posed by johann bernoulli in the year 1696 in elementary calculus we deal with the problem of finding points at which a function of a single variable say y equal to f of x attain its maximum or minimum values similarly when we consider the above three problems we can see that what we have done is we are considering a quantity which is a property of the entire curve and we seek the curve that minimizes the quantity in the first problem the quantity that we tried to minimize was the length of the curve in the second problem we tried to minimize the surface area of revolution and in the third problem we are trying to minimize the time of descent so all these three minimizing problems can be considered as the special cases of a more general problem let p and q have coordinates x1 y1 and x2 y2 we consider the family of functions y equal to y of x that satisfy the boundary conditions y of x1 equal to y1 and y of x2 equal to y2 that is all the functions belonging to the considered family join the point p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 we wish to find the function in this family that minimizes an integral of the form i equal to integral x1 to x2 f of x y y dash dx so now let us try to find the function f of x y y dash in the above three stated problems in the first problem we are trying to minimize the length of the arc therefore from the formula for length of the arc in the first problem we are minimizing i equal to integral x1 to x2 root of 1 plus y dash square dx therefore here f of x y y dash is given by root of 1 plus y dash square in the second problem we are minimizing the surface area of revolution as we know the area of surface of revolution is given by integral x1 to x2 2 pi y into root of 1 plus y dash square dx in this case we have f of x y y dash equal to 2 pi y root of 1 plus y dash square now to formulate the brachistochron problem we consider the point p situated at the origin and the bead slides from rest to the point q we have to minimize 
i equal to integral x1 to x2 dt as we know that v equal to ds by dt the integral to be minimized is integral x1 to x2 ds by v dx to obtain v we know that since the b starts from rest at the point p from the law of conservation of energy m g y equal to half m v square that is gain in kinetic energy is equal to the loss in potential energy from this we get v equal to root of 2 g y so here we have to minimize the integral i equal to integral x1 to x2 root of 1 plus y dash square dx divided by root of 2 g y also in formulating the problems of this type we make some additional assumptions we suppose that the function f of x y y dash possess continuous partial derivatives second order partial derivatives with respect to x y and y dash also we consider only those functions y of x which satisfies the boundary conditions y of x1 equal to y1 and y of x2 equal to y2 and which have continuous second order derivatives such functions are said to be admissible functions now we will try to find the euler's differential equation which provide the stationary values for providing the solutions to such type of problems in the next part